Hi, I'm James from Authentic Wine and Spirits, and today we're going to talk about the types of casks that are used to mature whiskey. And there's two types of casks that are most commonly used, and we'll get to those in a second. But um, the reason we talk about casks with whiskey is that it's usually considered that upwards of 70% of the flavor in whiskey comes from the cask that the whiskey is aged in. So the type of whisk or of cask that you use has a huge effect on the final product. Now, those two most common types of cask are an American oak barrel that previously held bourbon and a sherry cask, often from European or American oak, usually comes from Spain from the sherry industry. So the reason that these casks are so common is, of course, economics based. Uh, the way that bourbon works is to make bourbon, which is a whiskey made from corn in the United States, you have to use a brand new charred American oak barrel for every batch. So because of that, when the barrels are done, they are discarded and they end up in the welcoming hands of scotch producers who appreciate the cost savings, but also the barrels having been used once to make bourbon kind of takes a lot of the initial flavor out of the wood and allows you to create a more elegant spirit over a long period of time in Scotland um, with scotch that is a more delicate spirit than, than bourbon, typically. Similarly, in Spain, at one point, uh, sherry was the most consumed alcoholic product in the world. And because of that, sherry casks at that time were actually quite inexpensive and very common. So sherry would have been shipped from Spain, in this case to the UK, and bottled in the UK. And of course, you'd have these leftover sherry casks, which were quite welcome um, in the cellars of the Scotch whiskey producers. And of course, the flavors from both of these types of casks are different, but they both complement the malt spirit and grain spirit matured in Scotland very well. Now, there is another, there are many other types of casks, but one type of cask that's very, very common overall is a French oak cask. And in particular, French oak casks are used in the wine business to mature white and red wines. Now, you don't traditionally see a lot of Scotch whiskey matured in a French oak cask. And the reason is, is that French oak has a very tight grain to it. So it doesn't, the whiskey or wine inside doesn't interact with the wood as much as it would in an American oak or sherry cask. Now, there is a big exception to that. So the whiskeys we're going to use today to show the example of the different types of woods are... These two whiskeys from Gordon McPhail's Discovery Range. And these whiskeys are particularly classified by the type of wood they're matured in. So the green label, which is in this case a Tormor single malt that's 13 years old, has been matured exclusively in American oak barrels. And you'll see on the label there's pictures of fruit, citrus, orchard fruit, and vanilla, as those are the most common flavors that you would associate with an American oak aged whiskey. Now by contrast, we have in this purple box, the Glen Rothis Discovery 11 year old, and you can see the color is much darker. And that's of course, because the sherry that was in that cask prior to the whiskey imparted all sorts of color um, into the wood, which then soaked back into the whiskey during the maturation period. So sherry casks impart a whole different range of flavors. And you tend to see things like dried fruit, um, spices, and more of a, a darker, like caramel or toffee type flavors. You also tend to have a little bit more of a richer, more viscous mouthfeel from sherry maturation in whiskey. Now, the third example I'm gonna throw into the mix is the Compass Box Spice Tree. And the reason I'm throwing this in is that this is a good example of a whiskey that has been matured in French oak. And in fact, specifically, the uh, creator of this whiskey, Compass Box, and their owner, John Glazer, had a vision to find a way to incorporate the flavors of French oak, which is so common in the wine business, into scotch to see how it could best be showcased. And how they first did that was to actually take French oak and submerge it inside of a cask, almost as like a seasoning of the whiskey. Now that original method was, was actually banned as uh, an illegal way to mature scotch. 
However, the team came up with a clever way to get French oak on the caps or the heads of the barrels. And because of that, we have a whiskey called Spice Tree, which really showcases some toasty and spicy and even notes of like earthy licorice notes. Um, basically an entirely different range of flavors than what you would get from an American oak or sherry cask. So yeah, those are the most common types. Um, you will see a few other types of cask out there, um, things like Madeira or Port. Really the list goes on and on, but these are the most common uh, varieties of oak that you will see in whiskeys on the shelf today.